this is just one of those disgusting parts of boat life. So that's what we're going to do today. This shit happens. Cough it up. What you working on? Ugh. <sighs> so we have a Mark V whale pump as our toilet pump. And we also have an Electroscan Type 1 MSD that we use. And we've been noticing we've been getting a lot of um, errors that's been having, the amps are too low. So that's either there's not enough salt that's getting to the Electroscan in the mix of everything when you flush the toilet, or the, um, the actual electrodes need to be serviced, which we've done, which is just like an acid treatment that you let sit in there for and a couple hours. So we did that not too long ago. So then it started actually getting the correct amps for about a week and then we noticed it was kind of acting up again and was getting low amps all the time. Uh, we have also noticed that when you pump the toilet it takes a bit to, to get the prime um, which in the past that's just been the joker valve. So we're going to go ahead and service the pump and put new gaskets and the joker valve and everything in it. This is just one of those disgusting parts of boat life. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some of this on my nose because I'm not anticipating a good smell here. Is it dripping? Is it dripping in the bucket? Okay. <laughs> Look at you, you're, you're happy. Ooh, yeah, that's gross. Rotate it slowly until it dribbles into the bucket and make sure that it's pretty cheap, clear water. <laughs> Ooh, I hope you get a good look inside that pump. Ugh. <laughs> so you hand me a screwdriver, and then when you're going to do something, you bring the drill. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Clean up on aisle two. Yeah, the joker valve is not... I don't know if you want to get a shot of it, of a shot, <laughs> but you can tell it's not closed. Ooh, it's supposed to be closed completely. It's just worn out. Yeah, it's totally just worn out. Yeah, that's... An argument people always make is just get a composting hat. Like, oh, it's not really something we want to do. Everybody eats. Oh man. Are you gonna start gagging? Damn it. Just drop the one washer. It's not sliding off the top. That's where it goes. Time to clean. Not looking forward to this. Nothing like the smell of napalm in the morning. The nice thing about these pumps is that they're pretty simple and they're not hard to service. And if it's not your uh, waste pump, it's usually not so disgusting. You can see in there, it's like crystallized or scale or whatever, which I'm sure it was partially the water here. Well water does go through this, but also outside water, which is... Seawater when we're in. Yeah, that's why we have the salt tank in the um, cupboard right behind the head. Once we get into salt water, we can eliminate that whole bucket setup and then have all that space for whatever else. Ooh. I need a hat. Does it come out? Ugh. That's not getting a good seal. No. There's a nut that screws down. Ugh, this is awful. Rich would be gagging at this point. I'm surprised he isn't. I'm gonna flick some of this on him so that he does. 8.36 in the morning because it's gonna be 103 today. I really didn't wanna be doing this when it's 103. I really don't wanna be doing this at all, but gotta have a toilet. Does it come with a new nut? And no, okay. so don't lose it. And then that plate separates from the rubber. Throw it away. Comes with a new one. Ugh, stinks. Don't start gagging. I don't do that. This is where I'll insert you, gagging. <laughs> All right, Jenny. You have to... <laughs> Jenny, you're gonna have to edit out all this noise. You know I got a weak stomach. 
It's more visual than it is the actual smell. Well, this isn't, this is like scale. I mean, it's scale, but I, it smells like it does. It smells like it's, actually, it smells like uh, just like porta potty. I'm not sure whether you meant that as bad or good. I mean, it doesn't smell like someone took a sh in the pump. It smells like a porta potty. <laughs> Honestly, just recently. the cat box smells worse than this often. All right, I'm gonna soak that. I'm glad we don't have any neighbors. We have a plumber friend. That's his business. Last time we did this, probably five years ago, they were fishing off the dock right by us. And his little son, who is probably a teenager, walked by and was like, oh my God, that smells. And his dad says, smells like money, which is true because nobody wants to do this. We're gonna try vinegar first, see if that, we don't have a lot of the vinegar. So might just use it all. See if that will some break some of that up. I'll let it sit for a few minutes. <laughs> Gonna clean my hands. Goes back to Garros. Is that a little hammock for you? Thank you, baby. Maybe we shouldn't go five years. Hmm, the vinegar seems to be working okay. Just about every waste pump, it's always these that fail. When you can see daylight through them, they just don't draw a prime. For all you composting head people, yeah, you know, you love your composting heads. We don't. <laughs> we don't love this either, but that's that. You know, we thought we thought about the composting head. It does more for our toilet. More for us. That's it. Bottom line. Simple. Our next door neighbor on the Pacific Seacraft put a composting head yeah. in, and this is where he cut his air vent. If you like stubbing your toes when you're running up and down the side deck, that's where to do it. Those don't affect the operation of the pump, so you don't have to get anal with it. So I did. I did clean this. So I'm gonna reuse it. Okay. What am I doing? This goes on. Here, joker valve. Which one goes where? Let's see here. One has holes, one doesn't. That's the that whole thing. You see, there's two long and two short. So the long ones go on here. How do you know if it's penetrating? It is. It's not like they're pointy or anything. Is this, the rubber is it's got a hole threaded. It, not really, a, not until you put a screw. If this isn't the problem, then we're going to have to order a new electrodes, right? So those two flat plates. One goes on the inside, so one's the dry side. Rounded side goes toward the diaphragm. Like that. Yes. So the wet side is this side. It's like that. Like Rounded this. Side, yes. Then this. Yes. What's that? Photobomb. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Let him have fun. He wants to be in our video. Let him have a good time. Was it perfectly horizontal or was it angled? It was probably angled. Well, the word spares below goes directly vertical, right? Oh, yeah, maybe that's a good way to do uh, it. Put a sticker on it. Pump spares below shelf. Okay. It's all back together. We did not use the screws. Everything else we did use, and this is all going in the garbage. Have to clean those more thoroughly. Okay, we're gonna go put this in. Hopefully it won't leak. This should be good. So it was little, you can hear air coming through it. And now I'm in a, an impossible predicament because everything's bolted up. I don't know how I got the freaking hose off of here. So we put the pump in and there's some air and water leaking past the, it's where the joker valve screws into the housing. So we reused the screws from the previous uh, kit. So now we're gonna try the screws that came. They look exactly the same. Shouldn't be an issue with it, but maybe there is. So we're gonna try those screws instead, the new ones. Yeah. I just can't tell if they're tight or if they're just going to, they're on the verge of stripping out. So I tightened up the four screws on the joker valve. The Phillips slot was a little chewed up from previous installations, taking it in and out. And uh, 
So I put new screws in and the screwdriver wasn't slipping out of the Phillips head. Went around the pump body, the two halves that sandwich the diaphragm and also got those tightened up a little bit. So it's pulling water, but it also has a pinhole up here that's supposed to allow air in. So it's basically like a vented loop in here. Yeah, that little white dot up there, you can hear it whistling. I think it's ready to put back together. And we're getting good amps on the treatment thing, so I guess that's it. I'll let you put the plate back on. You can even use the drill. If you oh, want. what? What the heck? Uh, I guess you kind of lined it up. Twelve seconds later. I need a headlamp. I can't see. We'll do this on high speed. <laughs> nope. I should have set it for time lapse. <laughs> Right. The rest of the day, Jenny spent doing this. <laughs> no video today because Jenny couldn't get these screws in. And I need a third hand. Trying to put it back together. All my stuff. Yeah. It's Jenny's locker, isn't it? I got three shampoos. I got three conditioners. <laughs> no, they are killing that.